Hello, you bits of sick on a Dracula's cape. It's me, Jim Sterling, once again with a little deadly premonition. Because it is Halloween still, and this is kind of a horror game. When we last left Mr. Francis York Morgan, we were having ever so much fun with Polly Oxford. We had our breakfast, we drank our coffee, we arrived in Greenvale, we sexually objectified George Woodman, who gives me wood, man, there's still plenty of mileage in that gag, in that harmless goof. I whack the sensitivity of the mouse up a bit, but it doesn't seem to be helping. In fact, uh, it doesn't look like I can turn right. I can't turn the camera the right anymore. This is going to be quite an experience. Well, we don't need that. Well, let's head out. I should have ran. So a good tip with Deadly Premonition is if you sprint at the doors and hit the, the E button, well, the open button, you shouldn't be playing it on PC, he'll go through the door a lot quicker. Anyway, we cleared that. On reflection, I should have ended the last video with that bit. I mean, hell, we'll save. Sugar donut. That'll satisfy a small amount of your hunger. So, I turned the sensitivity up on the mouse and now can't turn the camera in, uh, in one direction. That's annoying. I know that uh, people, I think it's Durant is his name, is working on uh, some mods for this to improve everything. Or at least bring the resolution up to what I would call fucking sensible for a computer. And it is a shame about this PC port. All I want to do is, is share with you the majestic world of Deadly Premonition. And also that, that's taken forever to load. Huh. Right, here we go. That classic musical track, Life is Beautiful, is what it's called. Yep, yeah, that's what it is. Our office is open from 900 to 1700. No one ever talks time like normal people. Don't be late, Sheriff George Woodman. So who gives me wood, man? George, to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Mm-hmm. Let's take it for a spin. He doesn't even have an earpiece. He's just jamming fingers in his ears, which I wholeheartedly approve of. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. <laughs> this town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. It's getting all wistful there. Okay. Headlines. I mean, it, it all seems fairly simple. I'm not going to bother paying attention to those controls. Okay, let's see how many times we smash the car into something. That's a big part of Deadly Premonition. In many ways, it's the aim of the game. Whoa. Yeah, I can't look right at all now. So, this is going to be a thing. So, yeah. It was at this time when I first played, I was quite surprised because just suddenly, oh my god, it's kind of open world. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that <laughs> visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there. Oh, the good old days. To rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? The 
Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The it's not me making the car go that way. It's bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. The, I never the had car is just to edging to the right. I know, Zach. Once well, this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. So, yeah. You can see on the map there are cards there. Collecting those are a good idea. and give you all sorts of bonuses and things. There's a lot of extra shit to do in this game. Side quests and people to meet and... There can be some rewards for doing that. Uh, there are a couple I will end up having to do because there are some really useful ones. One of the... Getting some of the, the guns with it, it, like uh, infinite ammo are useful. Getting the, uh, the, tr the radio that allows you to fast travel is borderline essential. It's all hidden in fucking things you'd never... Just side quests that are so weird and obtuse. I mean, you need a guide just to look up most of them. That's one fine building for such a small town. Mm -hmm. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? I totally agree, mate. Okay. Let's get on with things. Coffee. I'll say, York is a man after my own heart. I've got my coffee here. It's how I like to record. This how we roll. Ever since uh, I played Deadly Premonition a few years ago, I've always found myself doing that whenever I'm bored or wanting to have a think. Just that little weird shoulder tap he does that uh, is uh, not comfortable at all. I wish I, I could pull off that run. run. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Needlessly sinister music. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else. It's what calls everyone calls him. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh no no, just doing my job. <laughs> God. I just. Well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright. And lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very s small town. I'm sorry. Well, there go some. It's just that voices. This is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but. I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay. Contrived item ready. puzzle. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. The monarch! For a cartoon. And still, this is driving me mental. Look, this way, no problem. But now, to get, to look on the other side, I just have to turn the camera all the way around that way. That, oh, that is insane. But yeah, that's how you open doors in this game. You just smash everything about. Point your tail, flag, squirrel case. I've forgotten which of the right keys are. There's a whole bunch of different squirrel fucking keys. All over the police station. I'm not going to bother him yet. I might have to make this one a little shorter than normal because this mouse thing is killing me. I didn't have this problem in the last one, I'm certain of it. We're opening file cabinets. Because why not? It doesn't do anything. I can't turn the camera I can't turn the camera around. Oh, 
Uh, this this needs controller support like immediately. It's like, you know, this game survives on its charm and if you're just doing this, there's there's no fucking charm left. Uh, we can use these beds. I mean, you can basically use anywhere to sleep. If York wants to live out of the cells, he can do that. Right, that's where we want to go. Just make sure we run up the door. Got ourselves another key here. If we just collect them all, then uh, there's no way Thomas will have a problem with it. Let's turn it round. Jesus Christ. Up the stairs. So, uh, it leaves us alone in stark, horrifying silence when there's not music and wacky voice acting happening. It's just the drone background computerage. Hi. Oh, there's a bleep over there. I've got to turn the notifications on my shield off. I've got one of those NVIDIA shield things. It keeps bleeping at me when I get messages. Probably Maurice Tan from Deep Silver used to work with me on, at Destructoid. Bothers me all the time, Maurice. Bothering me. Sending me awful pictures. Could you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? I'm sorry, Agent York. I've got my hands full. Could you ask Thomas? Why? What's going on? He lost the key to the cabinet with the files. Asked me to take a look around the office till he finds it. Well, I hope that doesn't take too long. Good God. I'm going to keep complaining about this fucking camera, I tell you. Ugh. This is George's office, if memory serves. Uh I actually need a thing from him. You see the uh, speech bubble over him indicates he has a quest, a side quest, open. Uh, but we actually don't want to come in here just yet. Because I, I know what the side quest is, we have to give him a certain thing. Which I, I can't remember, I think it might be in the kitchen. But please don't open. Okay. Let's just have a look. Listen, I can't remember exactly where all the keys are. There we go. No, there's no running through that. Not with the way this camera is. Slowly, oh slowly, open the door. So, yeah, I mean, there is uh, talk, of course, about a Deadly Premonition follow-up game. Two, in fact, have been mentioned. If we look at the weather report, we get some extra money. Isn't that exciting? And characters throughout the town of Greenvale will go about their daily routine. I mean, it's all rudimentary stuff, but it's... It, you just don't see it in a budget game. I mean, fuck, this thing came out at, uh, you know, 20 bucks. Totally unassuming. Oh, I have no control now. Uh, I briefly saw a mouse cursor there. Yeah, we are stuck. Huh. Right. Okay, well. Oh, no, there we go. I just picked up my coffee and apropos of nothing, in he goes. Fucking hell. Hang on, I'm finishing my coffee now. Mm. Game can operate on my fucking time. That's abysmal. Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I haven't met oh. anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? Well, I don't think 
I don't think I know, so... We will take this to George Woodman. That sexy, sexy man. Let's have a shave. That's something you can do in this game. He's looking at his reflection in the pilot light and the watermelon and I don't know, that's lettuce, tomato, peppers. I don't know why I'm looking at the vegetables. Grey squirrel keys. I think there's one more set of keys. Uh, no. Open. So what we're going to do first is we will just offload these dumbbells. And hope he opens the door in time. Yes, thank you. Don't, like, I love Deadly Premonition. I want everyone to play it. But at least for right now, don't get this port. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> <George> <laughs> yeah, you, every day. Oh, course, you work that ass. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't well missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Mm. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. I'll get more exercise on I can't do George. My routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. Oh, he's a, it's a puzzle. Mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will you? Well, we found can't that. My workout menu without him. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep an eye out for him. I got some working out on your menu. You can do that up and down on my penis, George. You sexy, sexy little girl. Edit view list. Oh, I should have done cancel, really. You don't need to see this. But you can see here, I mean, since we're here, these are all the different side quests and missions. It doesn't care that you haven't met them yet. It'll give you their names. Lily Ingram. Nick Cormack. All of that. So. There's a ton of them. And some of them have, like I say, really cool rewards. Okay, so let's uh, just activate this. Ooh. God, you keep working it, George. Mmm. I'm going to keep sexually objectifying George Woodman. To bring a little balance into, uh... Huh? Video games. You see the muscular man on that I found Arnold. portrait in the background. Really? He was a bit it's hard, -headed, but I got him to come back. Now come on your back, George. Tug on that mustache. Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Yeah, you can keep pumping that arm. To show you my appreciation. Ooh. Dick, I hope. Big throbbing humescence. No, it's Arnold and Sylvester. A card. So that makes us card even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. God, I bet he could work Zach, two at once with that you form. You need some friends who aren't so dumb. We unlocked an Achievo. Good stuff. I've never 100 percented Deadly Premonition. I don't really... I'm not one of those guys that sort of 100% things. Then again, I mean, since I play so many games in a year, there's no time, you know. I, I have to just sort of clear it, move on to the next thing, like a Tyranid. But with video games. In many ways, I consider myself the Tyranid of video games. But, uh, anyway. Ugh. Open. There. Let's hope I got the right keys, because I can't remember where the fourth one is. And then, it's just, it's nightmarish with this mouse the way it is. Agent York, did you find the key? Oh no, we got... Oh no, that's the car key, and it master key. Uh, oh, that's no, not the gray squirrel. You found the key. I think so. Is this it? We have to go through all this if it's wrong. But we learned squirrel facts. Because why not? The game loves facts. Ah, uh, 
You don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Sure you know a lot about squirrels. Yeah, dick. Suck. So, I mean, oh, that ain't it. But you know what? We'll learn some squirrel facts anyway. We found the key. That's the right one. Oh, oh, I hit the wrong button. But it looks like we got the right key. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Look up squirrels on Wikipedia if you want the facts. She just graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But Isn't it all of our dreams? She was working in the AMG diner here in town. She lived with her mother Sally. Anna's father she died said that with judgment. The lumber mill when she was a child. <laughs> God, her I love this bit. Unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. Is it? <laughs> the animation! <laughs> like he's just remembering how to Safe eat. Folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. <laughs> I've never <laughs> tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. Oh, mm, That's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and <laughs> butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. <laughs> Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. It's not the only thing that's solid with you in the room, George. <laughs> it's the rays of the biscuit. I've never even noticed that before. Ah, oh, delightful. Boom. Kaching. Kaching. Same, just in case anything goes wrong. So you'll, yep, you'll be able to fish. You can fish in this game, because why not? So there's a lot of because why not in this game. You know, it doesn't have to be open world. It doesn't have to have fishing. But why not? There's Thomas's Biscuit, so that's doing okay for itself. They are one of the best uh, healing items in the game, if not the best. Because it's Thomas's fresh biscuit. And Yorkie is very particular about his biscuit. Loading times do seem longer than on console. I mean, really, if you, if you want to play Deadly Premonition, get the Xbox 360 version. The regular first edition version. Uh, if you must play the director's cut, then get it on uh, PS3, PlayStation Network. Uh, at least until ports, like, uh, sorry, mods and things come out for this. And this could be excellent with some mods, especially if the subject. General doing... Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's like interesting things. Walking. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is some of us have hugs. To drive, George, I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. 
I want to keep it. I'd eye. rather you ride me, George. You hunker, Just hunker, hunker man-loving. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. I'll learn my way around your ass. Come on, George. George. We'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. 2100. They don't talk normal about time. Come on, George. Why don't you give me some of that uh, mm, sweet, sweet sugar. Sweet honey child sugar. It's uh, raining, as you can tell from the effects there. Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. I can results. be my mother Agent any York day of the week. Custom to the town yet? Give him a little slack. As long as he breast fleets. Mm. Breast fleets? That wasn't right. And I missed her oh, saying well, slack. Let's get. I could have used. Sure. I could have used that good. in, in my sexual innuendo with George. Oh God! Look at that. Can only look there. And that makes the mouse cursor appear. God damn, that's weird. I want to look to the right. I want to check out George Woodman's sexy legs. God, George's milky, creamy thighs. Mmm. Not too hairy. But not shaved. He knows how to turn a cat on. This is alright. I just gotta get on the road. Morgan. There you go, I press talk. Noticing. You prefer to work alone. Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely? Flying all over the country alone? I must say I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women. You might be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully. Like a thin crystal wine glass. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like Whoa. yours, right? George, is this an interrogation? I see you're a seasoned professional. I found actually uh, not treating women like things by, uh, is pretty good. Well, she got you good. Terribly good. It'll fade away, and nobody will notice it in a week. A week? We're gonna go uh, down this moon. path. So, Emily, tell me, is there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure it is small to your city eyes, but any gathering of people leads to all kinds of problems. Fights, runaways... Legolas, what do your city eyes see? ...fixated on violent crimes. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. That's what Whee! I consider to be my duty as the sheriff of Greenvale. Zach, there he is, the monarch in all his glory. I want to get out of here. I don't want to really... I, do, I want to just rush and get this first case out of the way rather than do a load of side questy things. Uh, at least for right now. But if you're wandering when off, there are bones... we'll go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Agent York, the hospital closes at 2100. Please make it inside before then. I'll make it inside George before then. Ho ho! I actually want to pop over here because we want these bones. Bum bum. Left hand bone. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Nah, better to just walk around. This was always a nice touch too, just wearing the uh, the FBI smock when it rains. God damn it! Hopefully next time we boot up the game, this camera thing won't be happening. But yeah, if you leave the car, then you you don't drive with people, then you uh, you know, that's the end of your little dialogue. But it leaves me time to just wistfully think of George, George Saucy Woodman. Bye. Now we want this flower as well, actually. Ah, let's stop. While it's raining. This flower, uh, if memory serves, is quite crucial. You can see it on the map there. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? They told us yep. to be there before 2100. 
But right, don't worry about that. that. Let's do whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah, let's not worry about a, an important murder case. Come on. There. Well, we want this. This flower. And... There's something very mesmerizing about it. <laughs> I wonder what it's called. I'll take one with me and ask someone later. Yeah, the only detective drama where a man will st hold everything in the case to pick up one random fucking flower. Okay, back to the car. See, with a lot of things in this game, um, certain events, certain things only occur at certain times. Now, again, I'm going purely from memory, but I believe that flower only appears on rainy days. And rainy days only happen at certain times anyway. Uh, so I had to grab that when I could. There's a lot of weird stuff like that in this game. It's what makes the side quests uh, particularly difficult to trigger at times. Or even though they exist. When I, very, when I first played Deadly Premonition, when I played it the very first time for review and whatnot, um, I never got the fast travel walkie-talkie. I simply didn't know it existed. These movies. One jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83. Directed by Douglas McCown. Right. It was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth. I loved it. Uh, so many delicious B-movie cliches. I'm not going to activate this. I like listening. But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. Wonder how the sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one oh. responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. <laughs> I think that one was back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. Now, that was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. Zach, that one had sequels like crazy. I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. I've got one up on Morgan. I've seen two of them. I believe it is the sequel. I'll just pick up where he left off. I believe it's the sequel where the tremors aren't just giant worms. They're ones that walk around on legs. Because why not? But there were some Halloween movie tips, courtesy of Mr. Morgan, if you're looking for films. I'll be doing a Halloween horror movie fest with uh, a friend of mine, Roger. And protocol. On uh, you Saturday. And now you try to go in by yourself. Oh, George. Oh, no. I didn't see you in the parking lot, so I thought I'd wait inside. <laughs> Just the, from now on. <laughs> Just the, the dramatic poses. I don't like uh -huh. considerate people who think that they're above the rules. And I'm sure I've made this point clear by now. Calm down, George. He oh, he looks so gorgeous with wet hair. Right, Agent York? Oh, George. Let's go inside then. Like she was angry and then defending him. Like just the the mood swings of the characters is glorious. And this is the game's wonderful. Just so dissonant and compartmentalized and weird. Hello, Sheriff. Freckly Fiona. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? Yeah, yeah! Mr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice Never heard of such a thing! The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice. He was expecting you. bone sores I'm and FBI things. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. What, she Hannibal Lecter? Besides, that scar in your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. Bear in mind, he's not even really What's properly been in town. Ask? Liar's house. You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder Ooh. of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But everyone feels the seditious, heinous evil still lurking, alive. 
Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, don't say that. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said Wildly that. Wildly inappropriate. Anna, dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. I, th I think it was more that she was being incredibly inappropriate rather than reading a book. But, oh well. So here we are in the hospital, Greenvale Hospital. You know what, we'll, uh, we'll save up here just in case. And we got our extra bit of money for being a daily reporter. Oh, George. Oh, let's observe him. Got a serious character though who likes to show off. He can show off all he likes. He can uh, show me the goods. Huh? Why don't you show me the goods there, boy? Give me that leg. You show daddy all your sugar. Georgie Woodman boy. I don't even know what that voice is. It's crazy how that, if you just wave it quick enough, the mouse cursor appears. Yeah, let's go straight to it. Yeah. I said, normally the, the idea is to run at those things. I just can't do it with the way my mouse has been limited. We couldn't find him. Who's doing the little tip Yona poke again? Needs to check her information. Your... No, I don't think so. She has to check her privilege like first. Games by any chance. What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. This is inappropriate. Set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? I mean, I can, but this is a murder investigation. King passes Rook meets Bishop. I, I, no, no, that's the Queen. Fuck. Uh, why have I put the Bishop there? That's a Rook. I remember, um, I always remember chess from Bottom. If you uh, takes a pawn, knight takes a pawn, meets the queen. Uh, the I forget the name of, of the bottom episode. It's a it's a show in the Britain in the nineties, and they had a whole bit where they played chess with actual the frozen pawn prawns and with the deceased. Another code, but there's nowhere to insert a password. I'll insert my password in George. Usher up here right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Need George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the- Yeah, yeah, yeah! With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. <laughs> Simple. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. And punch him in the face nah. for being fucking- Wasting FBI time. Like, that's an actual crime, isn't it? I'm fairly certain it's a crime. What Usher, yeah, yeah, just did. It's down here. Oh, this is hell. I've gone the wrong way. There we go, that's right. <laughs> Fucking hell! I'll have to look up online and see if uh, anyone else has had this mouse problem. Or if you've been playing it, listeners, you can let me know. Should be able to unlock that door with the card key. 
and fucking smack Usher, yay, yay, in his fucking mouth. I won't stop doing the Usher, yay, yay, thing either. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. If I was sorry, I wouldn't do it. Let's be honest here. You know, you appreciate my honesty, don't you? That's what people say they want from game journalists. At least until the game journalist reviews a game that they were looking forward to and doesn't agree with them that the game is good. You know, same thing with consumer advocacy, I found. Everyone thanks you for consumer advocacy until you apply those standards to a game they had pre-ordered. Not that I'm bitter about it. Come on, there we go. Smash that door open. It would have been quicker to have just walked through it. Here he is, you fucking... You're not the Riddler. Usher, sorry to keep you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Yeah, we could have started ten minutes ago. You time-wasting prat. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Mm, nice to meet you. I love the I way George Johnson, stands. Yeah, yeah. FBI Presenting his penis. York Morgan. That's what George Please does. Call me mm. York. Everyone, Everyone calls him that. Well, she can't well. stand Agent it. York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That but doesn't inspire lips, confidence. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. I see. Well, reading yeah, comprehension. Oh, Basic like reading. It. We don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. See, that's George taking charge. He could take charge of me. He could take my ass. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. The monarch! You've knocked out my contact lenses! From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death mm, is and then what stiffens when George is in the room. 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. I'll grip something hard in my right hand when George is around talking about his uh, tumescent penis. The skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. His erect length is what I'm talking about with George there. God. Now, I almost I wish I was that dead body with my face that close to George's but juicy member. Investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. It's refreshing to have an autopsy guy who isn't needlessly creepy. Like that guy in fucking Indigo Prophecy. Which means... She was cut up while she was still alive. Ugh. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Very poetic for a mortician. Is that a cricket sweater he's wearing? The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. And then straight back to the, this music. The musical the dissonance is incredible. Has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. Cutting out the tongue. So, 
suggest a very lonely individual. That makes everyone in this game a suspect. Truly hardcore sadist. Since no one here can talk normally to anyone. It's gonna be hard to whittle them down. Watching women suffer. Especially when they can't answer back. Now he watched as the blood. Well, that sounds like a lot of people on the internet that I know of. Grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like. Usher, please limit your report. To yeah, yeah. Findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. Whoa, touchy. You're wrong. Also, Anna died you fully, dick. deeply. Painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Not a bad Directed film. Directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. Brilliant. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. Okay. <laughs> Just having a bit of a tap around. Oh. That was not intentional. That made it look like I was looking at Emily's vagina. I'm sorry, I wasn't. This is intentional. Oh, George. You burning slab of man steak. Oh, what I wouldn't put in that back pocket like a wallet or car keys. Oh, yes. George. Observe. Traces of evaporated liquid around the eyes. She must have cried before she was murdered. Just observing, doing all the observations. Judging from the imp Oh, God, okay. Well, I won't read that one. Anna's body is lying on the table. Well, that's how it usually goes. Oh. She's neatly wearing fake fingernails. Beautiful blonde hair, stunning even in... Whoa, creeper. The tongue has been removed. Look at the edge of the stump. High quality beef. Not the most appropriate of things to switch to. I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. I don't think that's what killed her. Zach, it's all starting to come together. Mm. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you... Yeah, yeah! Well... Not particularly, I mean, but I am mad. I hate passion. Should the moment call for it. George, how about you? <laughs> I'm very passionate. Yes. Especially when it comes to women. Oh, I come, come. I can change your mind there, George. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Ah, the perpetrator bit off Anna's tongue. <laughs> Delightful. Well, a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. Um. And here's our Silence of the Lambs moment. Ugh. Juicy sound effects. Jackpot, Zach. Shame, but our old-time all-American sightseeing tour just came to an end. 
This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming. So suck it. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? Meat is taking charge. But you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. Let me show you this evidence I've been walking around with constantly that would make me a prime suspect. Woo! Woo! And this is why it was called Red Seed's Profile in Japan. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. So suck it. <laughs> George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. I'll Early. give you a sigh of release. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. When you, when you orgasm in me, or on me, or around me. Bishop takes queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Spoilers. Huh? <laughs> Just sounds like he's letting little farty farts escape. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Just shows you what a great agent York Morgan actually is, sucker. Okay, this it might end up being a bit too much for me to handle with the mouse the way it is. So what we're going to do is we will end here. We will save by that phone. And when we come back next time, hopefully the mouse will be working and I can look to my right. But... Zach, they're here. Yeah. Let's just see. Yeah, I can't aim right. Oh, I mean, I can slowly get round, but it requires me constantly shifting the mouse to just edge it. That's not going to happen. There's only one type of edging I like to do, and it's when I'm thinking about George Woodman. So what we're going to do is we're going to save, get our daily reporter, and that's been part two of Deadly Premonition. Put up for your enjoyment on this fine festive Halloween day. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank God for me, and we'll be back in part three another time. Yay, yay!